Hello and welcome to another edition of Fiber Fridays. My name is Matthew Marcus and I'm with Local Ruckus, a startup based in the Kansas City Startup Village. I should mention that I'm suffering from a bit of a cold, so if I sound a little off, that is the reason. Anyway, on to our episode. We're going to focus today on upload speeds. For many of the previous Fiber Friday sessions, we've been focusing on download speeds and the awesomeness of downloading data over Google Fiber, but we want to show you how awesome it is when we talk about uploads. Many people today are uploading photos and videos to places like Facebook and YouTube, and when you have the power of Google Fiber, those actions take very little time compared to other people. So to start off, we're going to show you some statistics. Um, thanks to Okla, uh, who also makes speedtest.net and runs that service. They provided this data to the public uh, about average speeds across the world, both download and upload. We can see here that we're looking at download speeds and the average back uh, in the 2007, uh, the United States was at about 5.9 megabits per second, uh, just above the average uh, for the world of 4.23. Fast forward to this year and this month, and we can see that the United States has maintained its uh, above average speeds. Now we're at 15.8 download, whereas the world average is 13, you know, about 13 megabits. Now we're talking upload, so let's take a look at upload. Well, back in the day, uh, it was about one megabit, just under one megabit per second, uh, no matter where you were. Um, then we can see the USA trickled above and then it's eventually lost its lead compared to the world average so today we're looking at about 4.1 megabits per second whereas the world average is 5.1 so what does that mean for uploads well let's take a look to compare these uh, statistics with other countries in the world we can look at the speedtest.net wikipedia page which lists the top countries for download and upload speeds and we can see that South Korea is up at the top close to the top for both um, so let's go compare the stats against South Korea looking at upload we are dwarfed America is lagging behind big time South Korea is almost at 30 megabits per second on average upload speeds download speeds Getting a little closer, but still 34.1 megabits per second for South Korea versus R15, so twice as much. Now, <clears throat> how does that change results? Well, first of all, I want to show you uh, my router settings that I have manipulated. Um, essentially, what I've done is I've turned on a bandwidth control option, and I'm minim uh, limiting the upload speeds to... 4.1 megabits per second or 4,148 kilobits per second. The reason I've chosen that number is if we look at the upload speeds for America, again, that is what we're at average. So I want to show you what happens when you upload a big video to YouTube over average upload speeds in America. So first of all, let's do our test just to make sure that's exactly what we're getting. Here I am at speedtest.net. Um, we've chosen Shelby, North Carolina to do our test. Now I'm not limiting the download speeds, only the upload speed. So that's where we'll see a difference. And keep in mind this is part one of two videos. My colleague Nick Booty, um, who is actually connected to Google Fiber uh, right now we'll be doing the second part. I should mention that I'm not actually on Google Fiber right now. I'm on a different hosting provider at my home. It is a fiber network but not nearly the speeds as Google Fiber. But anyway, as long as we can see here the upload speed is at 4 megabits per second just at the average which will really make a difference when we show you uploading a video to YouTube. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose to upload a video and we're going to choose a high def video that was taken on a Galaxy or a Samsung Galaxy S3 HD phone 
Uh, you can see here the video is 1920 by 1080, so it is high def. Uh, it's about an 11-minute movie, and the file size is 1.31 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and drag that over and start the upload process. Now again, the upload is limited to just over 4 megabits per second. The average upload speeds in the United States, and we can see that this video would take just under 50 minutes to upload. We don't want to wait that long, but you can see that that's how long you would be taking to upload a video of this size. So that's where we'll sign off for this portion, and we'll let Nick Booty take over and show you the exact same results for speed tests and the upload of the same video over fiber that is Google Fiber. Thank you very much. Thanks, Marcus, and welcome everyone to part two of this week's Fiber Fridays episode. I'm Nick from Homes for Hackers, which is just up the road from local Ruckus in the uh, KC Startup Village. And I am connected to Google Fiber right now via Ethernet, so let's see what kind of speeds I'm getting when I uh, test against the same speed test server that Marcus used. This one right here in Shelby, North Carolina. I'm seeing a 35 milliseconds ping, 60 megabits down. and uh, 65 megabits up. Now let's see how long it'll take to upload the same 1.31 uh, gigabyte HD video file to YouTube that Marcus uploaded. This one right here. And as you can see it looks like it will be taking three minutes. Uh, and that just goes to show you um, the benefits of fiber versus the uh, average upload speed in America. For Marcus it took him about 50 minutes to upload the same video. Uh, and that'll be all for uh, this week's episode, guys. If you have a future request for an episode of Fiber Fridays, you can uh, use the contact form that we will link in the description down below or comment on this video. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to our channel and check back for our next Fiber Fridays episode. Thanks.